You're right, Kingsley. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Maureen Watterson, and I'm the proud owner of Norton Road Finance. I specialise in equipment, asset, and personal lending, and this is my story. Oops, Hit sorry. it. <laughs> <laughs> the name Norton Road Finance is the street where I grew up in. It nurtured two generations. It holds a special place in my heart because it inspired with the place of love and admiration, especially for my parents. They're pretty cool. And it represents safety, nourishment and family for me. So when I thought about, you know, a branding and a name for my business, I just really wanted to bring my branding home. It just felt right. And because it just, you know, it's where the values that were instilled with me with hard work, support, and also gratitude. So, Norton Road Finance. Okay, reflections on the past of my past experience and future aspirations. So, my parents would say that I was born to be a salesperson. Um, and, you know, they're kind of right. Because I, I, I did a lot of sales positions over the years. I, um, I started door knocking. Who's ever done door knocking? I done door knocking. I sold <coughs> cladding for the homes. Um, um, Kirby, um, vacuum cleaners, if you all know that, and uh, encyclopedias, like I'm really showing my age here. Um, <laughs> Avon, Nutraminates, um, <laughs> Tupperware, everything that I could possibly sell, I would sell. I even thought I was a hairdresser just by reading a Clio magazine. And I tried to sell my, uh, my, my sister that I could um, basically just come back a bit, go back, 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 back the other way. Um, so I just wanted to share my love for the love affair with the motor industry. Look, I've been in the motor industry for 20 years and this is really where I drill down on my sales ability. So if anyone really wants to learn how to do sales, the motor industry is a great starting point. Um, I climbed the corporate ladder there and I did so many things throughout that industry. I, um, I started actually selling aftercare and aftermarket, all the accessories on the car when you go and buy your car. And... Um, I sold over $500,000 worth of personalised plates. I mean, I was the highest ranking um, aftermarket consultant consistently for 10 years and received over 30 industry awards through different areas that I worked in within the industry, aftermarket, car sales, and also finance. Um, then I managed, I managed sales teams and I, uh, I managed finance teams. And then of course, you know, you go that one step next and you buy, you know, you get your dealer's license. You get your dealer's license and I did a TI, uh, two IC positions within multi um, franchise dealerships um, all over. And I did that for a long time and then I burnt out and I left. And I decided to give back to myself because, you know, the motor industry really takes a lot out of you. It's hard work, it's hard yakka and it's long hours. So I decided to leave the motor industry and give back to myself and start um, align myself with a finance group, a real reputable finance group and continue on in finance. So I uh, built an equipment finance business along with my business uh, partner. We both built it together and we had five brokers and four support crew. We called ourselves the Hot Rods because back then we thought we were really hot. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, and we did mentoring, coaching, training. I did that for five years. And you know what? Networking and sponsoring, I believe, I truly believe that that was the rain, main reason why this business is successful. And it is still operating today. Um, for the five years we're there, we received a uh, group of the year, four years running. And, um, and yeah, and they're still kicking. They're still kicking goals. So, um, Coming into window furnishings, buying and security, how did I go from one to the other? Well, I had decided to have a bit of a gap year. You know, step out of the finance industry, just, you know, shake it all off. And plus, I moved. So I moved to, the, to Brisbane and the Gold Coast. I decided to get into window furnishings. And I was a wreck on the road for about a year and a bit. Um, from Brisbane to the Gold Coast. Um, my first year, I won National Sales Person of the Year. So... Um, and one of the biggest compliments that I could ever get, customers used to ask me, so how long have you been doing interior design? <laughs> Nente, none. But it, I just knew what the customers want. And I had a solution for them. So their need and a solution. Marriage matched. Perfect. Um, we can move on because 
from there, I got headhunted into finance and that's why I started my uh, Norton Road Finance business. This is my why. This is my family. They fill my cup. I've got my husband, Stuart, my daughters, my two daughters, my two son-in-laws and my grandchildren. And they are my everything. They are the reason that I get up in the morning. They are the reason that I go to sleep at night and everything in between. And I love them very dearly. And this is the reason why we're on the Gold Coast is to be with family. Ah, oh, of course, my legacy. This is my legacy. These are my grandchildren. Now, my children would say, Mum, you love the kids more than us. And I'm going, damn right. <laughs> but like when you're a grandparent and who's a grandparent, you just know love hits differently when you have grandchildren. And this is my legacy. Kyan's 12. He's the sporty guy in the middle. Oh, that's Emily. But like, <laughs> moving on, moving on, you get the picture, right? All right, equipment, back, 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 back. That's why I needed the clicker thing. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Here is the team. Of course, um, I'm the loan magician because sometimes you just have to make loans out of nothing. And then sometimes they just disappear off your table. So, um, and of course, chief negotiator. I do mainly business to business operations. So I talk to a lot of businesses. I help a lot of businesses uh, purchase goods, but I also collaborate with a lot of businesses. So if you have a business that you want to sell a product, but you're having that financial gap in between because your, your clients can't afford your product, then I can come in and we can collaborate and we can work out financial packages so that you, I can help you sell more product and services to your clients. It's a win-win situation. Um, we all do everything, but we all specialise in certain things, which is good. We keep in our lane. We do what we do well. Uh, so mine is business to business. Emily is on the Sunshine Coast. She is our lone ninja. This girl has a great memory. She just knows her policies. She's very quick. She's very efficient. And she does leisure and personal lending because she loves motorbikes. She does ATV, she does boating, all that sort of stuff. And she's also a gamer. She likes working in that space. And good for her because if I ever need anything, because sometimes my memory is not as good as hers, she can just pick up the, uh, the, the slack on that front. And of course, we've got Anthony. Anthony is our Lone Ranger. He works in cars and we also have a car buying um, service, as you all know. It's a service in which we offer to our finance customers as an added value option. Because we've got a wealth of information, we are all caries. Emily's eight years, Anthony's 20 years. We have the knowledge and we have the know-how to support our finance <coughs> clients when it comes to purchasing cars and boats and all that sort of stuff. All right, so discover the Norton Road finance difference. Well, we know that time is of the essence and we get that, we get it. You know, speed and efficiency is unmatched, ensuring that we get things done without a hitch. Um, and our technology is a 24-7 alley, which means we get access to amazing deals all around the clock, anywhere in Australia. And sometimes if you're worried about the journey, ah, don't be. Between us, we bring a whopping 40 years of experience in finance, sales, and of course, top-notch customer service with all the industry qualifications, licenses, and insurances. And we don't just assist, we accompany you on your financial journey, um, making sure that you're in the loop and personalized service every step of the way. I just wanted to share some success stories here. I mean, Matthew is from Queensland. Like, he's a hard-working employee. He had big dreams. He wanted to shift gears, and he had been driving concrete trucks, and then he was offered a position as a contractor at the company that he was working for. So he wanted to buy his own concrete truck and go and start his own business. So we helped Matthew facilitate that while he was still working as a PAYG, okay? This one here is Isaac. Isaac is uh, in Western Australia. He um, is a builder and unfortunately he was referred to the wrong person that couldn't help him with his finance to get a truck. Um, and this, this broker actually didn't know his story, didn't know his, the back end of his story. So he had, they couldn't articulate the application as perfectly so that we, you could, you could um, get an approval. It actually went the opposite. So we saved him and he got 
a, a truck and he's extremely happy and has referred friends to us. Okay, Alison. Alison is a commercial cleaner. Now, Alison came to us from Victoria. She actually bought a brand new car through a dealership and the dealership was actually looking after her finance for her. It took a whopping four weeks for the dealership to come back to let her know that she got declined. Wow. So, you know, that was heartbreaking for us to hear that story. We got her approved in four days. So once again, it's all about understanding the client's profile and matching them with the right policies on who you've got in terms of the lenders. And in some cases with dealerships, they don't have a lot of options to offer you as well. You know when I said about networking? This is some of the people that I have networked over the years. And I'm saying only some, this is only a drop in the ocean. I am a keen networker and you all know and um, understand how good networking is, especially when you're dealing with businesses to businesses. Building relationships is my strength, but I think it's all of our strengths because we're all here. You know, we're all here for the common good and that's getting to know each other and building those meaningful relationships and supporting each other. Thank you for listening. Good she is in her world. It's good. And the stories you tell about people can't get loans.